Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jack Collectibles, and today I've got another PSA grading preview video. So I got several orders ready to go. Um, today is March 1st, and PSA just increased prices. So I had some of these orders already prepped and submitted so that I'd be locked into the old prices. I, I'd heard that they were going to increase. So uh, I thought I'd go through and just kind of show everything that I'm sending off in this batch i've got uh, two regular orders a gaming order and then a ultra modern order um, bulk so we'll start off here with uh, the regular order so i've got a basic two charizard and a lugia both just unlimited don't expect them to grade very high but you know hoping for i don't know four or five something like that it's kind of what i figure for those i'm um, just looking to get those slabbed really uh, I've got an Umbreon full art from Shining Fates. Lusamine full art. Full arts have really gone up with uh, Pokemon lately, so I decided to send those in. I got a couple of the Pikachu uh, cereal box uh, hollows. They've got some of the McDonald's hollows. Got a couple of Charmanders, a Squirtle, and a couple of Pikachus. And then we've got a Pikachu VMAX Secret Rare. Uh, and then this is a Flesh and Blood uh, Legendary that I pulled. Uh, it was it had some damage. I sent it in to the um, company uh, in New Zealand and they replaced it for me. And got a new copy that's uh, not damaged, so I'm going to be sending that one in. I've got some Christian Wood, and then pulled the, both of these from a box of Bowman Draft. Probably expecting nines on those, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then we've got uh, some that I cracked out of my BGS slabs. So I had a reveal on some of these already from BGS months ago, and I just decided might as well go ahead, crack them out, send them to PSA. I just wanted to try to maximize my value for some of these. Um, so I'm taking a chance, see what we can do. Maybe we'll have some nice um, crossovers. We've got a Rant Prism Ruby. Pulled that one out of a box. Uh, the one box I opened of Prism. We've got a Okiki Purple Refractor, Purple Pulsar. Got a Saquon downtown, second year, Chenault, then our Zion, uh, a Luca that I cracked out along with, uh, I think a lot of these upcoming ones are going to be ones I cracked out. Got a Zion Donruss Orange, Hero Hollow, Kobe White Hollow, LeBron Prism, Silver, Morant Red, White, and Blue. Uh, three Zion Prisms, and then three Jaw Prism Base. Got a uh, Lamello Silver Prism Draft. Got three Base Prism Drafts. Wiseman Silver Prism Draft. Um, got four Lamello Pink Ice Prism Drafts, two of each version, along with a Crusade. Got uh, one of each version of Anthony Edwards red cracked ice and one of each Anthony Edwards pink cracked ice. So that's the first um, regular submission. The other one is from a couple of recent bricks that I just had uh, a few days ago. We've got a LeBron Slam purple uh, explosion. So I'm hoping for just maybe a nine on this one. There's a little kind of whitening along the edges there. But uh, if I get a nine, I'd be very happy with that. I've got uh, three, four, five Lamellos and one Anthony Edwards. So I went through and tried to pick out the ones I felt, of course, were good candidates to be graded and had a good shot, especially at this regular service right now. $50 a card. They just doubled the price, $100 a card, so um, still 50 bucks a card. I want to make sure that it has a decent chance of getting a 10 
uh, at least a nine if you know with good chances of a ten. I've got this nice Skyla full art from Shining Fates here, from uh, and all these are going to be from recent Shining Fates breaks. Uh, Eternatus V Gold Ball Guy full art, Real Boom V full art, Toxtricity V full art, Reshiram Amazing Bird Keeper full art, uh, Creamy V Max Secret. And then two of the uh, EV VMAX promos that were in pretty good shape. So that's the second uh, regular submission. We'll take a look at the bulk ultra modern. I've got a Burrow Mosaic rookie, Hertz rookie. And like most of my Mosaic, I know a lot of people love Mosaic um, basketball, football. And my Mosaic are just scratched like crazy. Um, I don't know if everyone's is like that, but it was really tough to find uh, some decent candidates for grading mosaic, especially the mosaic uh, base. Those are really tough. The colors are not as bad, but um, those silver ones really have a lot of scratches. Got uh, Edwards Alaire, Green Velocity, a Dylan, Green Velocity, Akuda. Patrick Queen, Gibson. I got this uh, Tatis Jr. for Cyber Weekend. I guess out of a uh, thousand. That was cool. So just thought I'd get that one slabbed. A couple more rants. A Dort. Didn't have a lot of rookies. Um, so figured I would slab that one. A Barrett uh, variation. I've got a Nun, a Walker, and then a Keldon Blue Ice. Uh, I've got this Luca, Our Time, Dazzle. Pulled this out of a pack myself. Um, it's kind of got one Dean Corner, so probably expect an eight on that one. At least, hopefully, hoping for at least an eight. So, be super surprised if you get anything higher than that. But once again, wanted to get it slabbed. Um, same with most of these. Just for them to be slabbed, even if it's for nine, uh, some of them being, you know, a collection, others just to sell. It's a lot easier selling, moving things that are graded than uh, things that are raw. The RJ Premier Level, RJ Dollar Tree Yellow, Diallo, Optic Silver, got a Horton Tucker, uh, 25 from Hoops Retail. Gravity, a Windler, um, checkerboard, an optic, and we've got one, two, three, four, five Keldon uh, Fanatics from Optic, Horton Tucker Blue Velocity from Optic, Green Wave, and a Keldon uh, Teal Explosion. Uh, this was also in that box of Prism that I opened. I got the Larry Bird autograph. Uh, just Thought it'd be cool to get that one slab too. Keldon, red, white, and blue prism. Cam Johnson, orange ice. Garland, orange ice. Keldon, base prism. And I've got some Darius Baisley. Three, four, five, and a Cameron Johnson. Base. And that is the ultra-modern bulk. And then finally, we've got our trading card game bulk. So some of these are from the uh, collection that I picked up from my buddy. Uh, a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, or at least out of this. We've got some blue eyes, white dragons. These are all pretty poor shape. You can see terrible crease through this one. Uh, surprisingly, PSA 1s um, sell for a decent amount. Uh, I guess just because people collect PSA 1s. I don't know. Um, from what I could see, several hundred bucks for PSA 1s from just Unlimited. So figured I'd get these slab for 10 bucks a piece. Um, you can see how terrible that one's got the big crease all the way through it. So some of those blue eyes, white dragons, and some rough shapes. Uh, that was a little bit nicer to hear quite as bad. Dark Magician, same way. Um, 
some of these not the best shape, but still just want to get these slabbed. We've got our first edition uh, starter. Dark Mission Magician there. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, limited edition from the box. Premium tins, I believe it was, or some kind of premium tins. Uh, I've got this Charizard V from uh, Champions Path. Pulled this out of one myself. Check out the crimp. Um, submitted this, hoping to get some kind of qualifier, uh, maybe print defect, something like that. I uh, thought it was pretty cool that I get it slabbed. Um, see if they'll give me some kind of a qualifier. Uh, some of these more from that collection for my buddy that I bought from him. Uh, Charizard die cut movie card. Not the best uh, shape, but that'd be cool to get it slabbed. Venusaur, Chrome, Dark Blast Toys Hollow, Blast Toys Base Set 2 Hollow, Venusaur Base Set 2 Hollow. I said those, you know, if they just get fours, five, six, I'd be happy with those. Pincer, um, Unlimited, but no Jungle Stamp. So that's pretty cool. It's also from his collection. I like Pincer a lot, and especially since it didn't have a stamp, that was really cool. Um, some uh, Typhlosions in Japanese, and for Alligator, Japanese. Coast Trainer, full art. Alolan Nine Tails, full art. Adventure Bag, secret. Got the uh, GX there. The full art, Genesect, Secret. Got some Pikachu from McDonald's, just the base. Got four of those that are pulled out that were the nicer ones. Uh, full art, Leon. Full art, Alistair, Jirachi, amazing. Uh, memory Capsule, Secret, Pikachu V. So like a lot of these I submitted, you know, you can see like the Pikachu's obviously off center, left to right, but uh, even at nines, you're getting premium on nines a lot of times right now, uh, at least from current prices. Now, a year from now, and I might get this back, things could change, but for now, nines are still pulling premiums, uh, increasing the value more than the $10 that this is gonna be cost to get slapped. So i um, hoping for, you know, a nine for those. I uh, got some more Charizard V promos. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And then we've got um, some more Hidden Fates from the Hidden Fate Elite Trainer boxes that I found. Uh, same with this. You can see the Charmander obviously off center. But hey, uh, if I could pull a, a nine from this, it would still um, give me a premium and uh, increase the value even. Like I said, it just makes things a lot easier to sell online when you're selling uh, slab things versus trying to sell raw. A couple Magneton Shinies, Celestila Shinies, Swablu Shinies. Just go through these. And then I've got one of the Rainbow Secret Rare Birds. I threw all six of the um, promos from Elite Trainer Boxes. Once again, I don't expect all these to get tens. Pretty good, a good bit of nines. A lot of these were off center, but I'm sending those in. Sidui, like a rock. So I got our Articuno. Got a Cynthia. A nice one that I pulled. I almost submitted this regular service, but it was just so off center. I just knew that it wasn't really going to be a chance to uh, get a 10 likely with this one. Uh, it could, I could be very surprised and actually get a 10, but um, I figured for 50 bucks, I don't know if it would increase it 50 bucks worth. For 10 bucks, I think it will It'd be worth it. So that's why I decided just to submit it via bulk and wait for a long time. Uh, Charizard, GX, and then Jesse and James. Full art, full art trainers. Prices on these have really gone up. I mean, this was, you know, less than a buck. Now, I think raw, these are close to 10 bucks each. Um, graded, 
uh, over 100 or so from what I've seen lately. So decided to go ahead and get these slab. And then we've got four of the birds full arts from Hidden Face. So that'll do it. Uh, those are all the cards I'm sending off for PSA. I believe it's 194 total cards that I'm sending. So I'll be looking forward to doing some um, return videos, revealing some grades to you guys. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, do you enjoy this kind of videos showing off some of the things that I'm grading and some of the things that I'm, I'm sending off and kind of what happens when they come back. It's nice to always see how the, how the grades go and what you end up getting. So that's always a, a favorite part of mine is the, the waiting and then the grades popping and getting to see how, how you did. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.